In this tutorial, we'll organize a hierarchy for a hover robot. There's two examples, one for flying and one for swinging. Here are some parts of a hover robot. Take note where the pivots are on each object. These pivots will be on the rotation points for each part. Let's arrange the parts into better positions. So here's our robot, but he breaks apart when we rotate each part of the robot. So we need to put these parts in a hierarchical order. Keep in mind we have a left and a right side represented by a capital L and a capital R. Left refers to the robot's left side, not our screen left. Let's start by parenting the upper arms to the robot's head. Now when the robot head moves, the upper arms go with it. We can also rotate the arms and they stay with the head. Here we're linking the forearms below the upper arms. Now the head will move both the upper arms and the forearms. And the upper arms will rotate the forearms. Next we can parent the spherical hands to the forearms and the claws to the hands. Now the head moves everything because the other parts are below it in the hierarchy. Let's rotate the left upper arm and see what happens. Oops, for some reason the claws have disconnected. If we look closely at the hierarchy, we can see the mistake. The claws on the right side of the robot are parented to the left hand, which is then parented to the forearm and the upper arm. Now it's easy to see why the claws come apart. The right hand even rotates the left claws. So let's reorder this correctly. Now we have a fully operational robot to pose in any way we please. We can even animate a hierarchy like this. Alright, so it looks like the robot would like to have a swing on this bar, but we have a problem with our hierarchy. In the current setup, the robot's hierarchy is ordered for flying and not for swinging. To swing the robot, we have to move the robot's head across and rotate the left arm back into position. This is difficult, and if we tween between the two poses, we'll notice that the claw bounces around, intersecting the pole. The head also moves in a straight or a linear direction, not in an arc, like we'd expect from a pendulum swinging action. The hierarchy should go from the bar through the body. Let's start with the left hand, then the forearm, upper arm, head, right upper arm, forearm, hand, and right claws. So let's bring the left hand out of the hierarchy to be the parent. Then parent the left forearm to the left hand, the left upper arm to the left forearm, and the head to the left upper arm. Notice that the left claws are on the same level as the forearm because they are all children of the left hand. We could shuffle the forearm to be placed on the same level but above the claws. This is fine, but it really hasn't changed anything. Shuffling without changing the parent level doesn't affect the robot's hierarchy at all, just the way we're seeing the display. The left forearm and claws are still children of the hand. Now that the hierarchy is in better order, let's try it out. Oh, straight away we see problems. The claws are intersecting the pole and the arms are breaking. It's not really working well at all. So what's the problem? It's that the pivot points are in the wrong positions. They're in the spots that work for flying mode, but not for this swinging robot. So let's change the pivots to work with this hierarchy. We'll leave the right arm's pivots as they are, but the head's pivot can go to the left upper arm's old position. The upper arm pivot goes to the left forearm the forearm to the hand, and finally the hand pivot is going to go into the center of the bar, so when the hand pivots the whole body will rotate around the bar. The left claws can stay where they are, if we want we can adjust the grip with their pivots still in the same positions. So now our robot is set up for a swing action. He's much easier to pose and will work much better if we want to animate him. We even get a nice pendulum arc through the body.
But before we go, let's have a quick look at changing a hierarchy mid animation. Usually, we'd need a funky animation rig to do it properly, and that can be complicated to set up. Instead, we can use a simple trick to make all of this work. All we need is two identical robots. We've changed the colors on these guys to show them more clearly. The flying robot in blue has our flying hierarchy, and the swinging robot in orange has the swinging hierarchy. Now it's just a simple matter of turning the visibility of the flying robot off and the swinging robot on at the frame he grabs onto the pole. So here's the flying robot animating along. Now let's switch to the swinging robot. We've kept the colors on the upper arms to show where the switch takes place. And that concludes this hierarchy demo.